this is our uh, i'll go to cu50 okay so now this rooftop uh, rooftop is only available for indian customer okay rooftop characteristics only available for indian customer okay customers other than india country it should not be available okay so in that case right in that case i am creating a precondition okay i am creating a precondition c01 the same transaction code and writing so i'm writing car i'm just defining that okay for pc precondition pc and just for pc for which characteristics so roof top underscore pr the rooftop is rooftop underscore pr now i'm saying show if country is equal to india okay so now as a default i explained yesterday it will be selected to precondition when you entering into the cu0 right so so you no need to change any object dependency type let it be like that and go to dependency editor so here you have to write the condition so what is your scenario requirement the rooftop characteristic is available only for india so write self dot right right self dot country so here this is your country right where is the problem country pr self dot country country specified right and self dot country is equal to india is equal to india what is the technical value for india 001 Right. So zero zero. Okay. So now just release this set. So we have created a precondition. Okay. Just note down the thing you are objecting. PC. create the same thing we use cu01 to create now do cu50 what is the next step that we have to do so do cu50 right we have to write the dependency in our c object configurable not in and i'm just selecting so now we have a rooftop is there okay right so right. i'm selecting other than india so what should uh, what should be happen so, uh, our uh, the release will not have see the rooftop is still available right as as per that our uh, requirement so whenever we have other than india customers rooftop should not be available but right. it is available so because we have to assign which one the pre condition to characteristics rooftop 
so go to your rooftop characteristics rooftop go to this is the icon for object dependencies then assign your precondition precondition to the rooftop characteristics right save now to reload cu50 to affect the changes then now see here what did you notice that uh, still it is not released as our see uh, oh there is, it is the yeah, rooftop is not available yeah right the rooftop is not available because yeah, yeah it's not. because we have written right the condition is not satisfied which means when it is a, we have written when it is a specified and the country is equal to India. The only it should be available. India. So now it yeah. is not specified. That is why it is went hidden because it is the condition is failed. Condition is failed. If it is not satisfied, it will go hidden. So now make it India. See, the rooftop is available for the selection, right? Right. Now you just Select which one? USA. So now uh -huh. it, it is not, not available. Out. It will right. go under hidden characteristics. It will go under hidden characteristics. Oh, okay. 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 It will go under hidden characteristics. So if you double click on here, so it will be like this. So you cannot select any value. It is excluded from the Configuration. Configuration. So now, okay. Okay. So now, 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 uh, I will show you. One more. Before that, you just assign um, all selection conditions for all the characteristics. So that we can see this in earlier. So we have assigned a selection condition till engine. For color also you can assign the same selection condition. Which one? Global one. This is rooftop. Okay, you can assign it to rooftop. No issues. Car selection. Okay. Save. And you can assign it to color. Why we are assigning this one? Selection so, condition. Yeah, so the car model we need to have the uh, global, I mean, mandatory condition there, and then these details will be get populated. Or? No, you just remember that selection condition means what? Selection condition you are assigning means you are making. The character as a mandatory selection if the condition right. is satisfied. Okay. For that purpose, you want to make you want to make this character as a mandatory selection. Okay. Yeah, right. The car model is a characteristic as a mandatory selection. Okay, so we have assigned it to all. We have assigned to stop also. Okay, so now, now, do CU fifty. So I'm doing. Okay. So now, if you put USA, if 
you keep you say so rooftop will be excluded from the configuration okay. it is hidden okay so now you can just select the configuration you just notice that when it will be turned the configuration is completed right configuration is completed now right but if you see here rooftop is hidden characteristic is went into went to hidden characteristics and there is a no value selected this is the behavior of the precondition okay okay and so now so the value selection is not required it will not allow okay Okay. So that's why it is excluded from the configuration. Now, if the condition is satisfied, condition is satisfied. For example, I'm selecting India. For India, it should be available. What happened? See below. The, yeah, the there is a yellow mark. Yellow. Before it was yes. like green. Sorry. So now, yeah. Yeah. To complete the configuration, you have to select rooftop. rooftop. Right. So this right. is a precondition. Now, if you see, if you change the configuration, see now, rooftop is available and this is selected oh, as yes. Okay. Right. So now, I'm changing it to USA. USA. What will happen? So, expecting the rooftop is again hide. Rooftop will be hide. Rooftop okay. again, see, it again, will be see here. Again, mm -hmm. see here the icons you see here. Okay. Yeah, right. The yeah, icon is not currently available. Right. right. No, no. You just see below, below icon. Before I'm yeah, changing yeah, yeah. it to India to USA, you just notice I'll ask that. Okay. You just. Um, so now what happened there is one uh, obviously it is changed to yellow and one more mark has came as a i mean ah. icon has came yeah so one more mark it is changed to yellow and also this one which one inconsistent in, inconsistent the configuration is inconsistent you just double click on oh, this one right right Okay. Why okay. it is inconsistent? Inconsistency values, yes, for the rooftop. See, rooftop inconsistency values for the yes. Yes. So, because previously we have the configuration for what? India. For India, India we have selected yes value to rooftop. Okay, we have right. selected right. value yes to the rooftop. Now, I have I'm changing from India to USA. It is giving this inconsistency because so when when the country is changed, right? We have a precondition. The rooftop is yeah. not available for other than India customer. It is trying to hide, but here the value is selected. The user selected yes value for the rooftop when the country is India. So user selection is a highest priority in sap user selection is a highest priority in sap if any value is selected in the configuration user has selected so you nobody can erase that one only user has to go and erase that configuration so otherwise we cannot change the configuration only user has to go and user means we we has to go and remove the configuration so now it is trying to hide because of that condition but since the user has selected the value yes it is not able to because it is not able to remove that so there is a conflict the user selected value but as per the precondition satisfied not satisfied it is trying to hide that rooftop characteristics but there is a value selected that is by selected by the user 
so it is not able to remove that value so there is a conflict is there so that's why it is we are having this inconsistency error so in order to just um, remove this error remove this conflict you just have to remove this s so now the conflict gone so there is a no conflict because once you remove precondition is applied on this one and rooftop will be hidden with no selection so it this will be a manual removal right yeah it's a manual removal i have not to oh. so it's a manual oh. removal because it is selected by manually manual selections will not be removed automatically so we have to go and remove manually okay so this is about a precondition okay 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 so you have any questions on this one uh i will begin while writing the dependency uh, you have bring the condition i mean uh, the country is equal to india in the next line so <clears throat> maybe uh, we will coming session we will see that but just for curiosity like you have uh, put go, went into the second line is there any length uh, length limitation for the dependency uh, to write there is no length limitation is there see i am writing the, that statement separately see if you see here if you go thus editor okay what is this this one okay what is where is the uh, uh, in the country country pr in the rooftop, rooftop. Okay. The rooftop. Oh. we have assigned this precondition Okay. See, if I, I can add this one here also, no problem. But to make it clear, to make it clear, I made it down. That's all. Okay. See, if you want, okay. write. If it is adjusted to that one, see, if you adjust it to that one, you can still you can write it, no problem. Okay. Until it reaches that length, you can write it, no problem. See. Control C. Yeah, you can write it. Okay. 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 The so same. It is having some length criteria as well to how many characters. Till here you can write. Till here. Okay. Again, okay. Is no okay. So okay. there is no length criteria. Hmm. Right. Yeah. And uh, uh, we so have returned. I just want to read very to readable format, right? To make it re very easy. Correct, correct, correct. Got it. Right. I just made it here, so I don't want to confuse. Right. When I'm reading, I don't want to confuse others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. So for that purpose, I have written down. Then. And uh, yes. yeah, one question is like we have, for example, uh, we have first created the selection condition and then precondition. So mm. obviously, uh, it is based on where we put our dependencies in our characteristics, and uh, it depend on that kind of thing, right? Or, or uh, is there any no dependency? Either you can put the precondition, or suppose uh, earlier we have created one selection condition, and now we are creating one precondition. So uh, it depend on our logic or our thinking that where we need to place that code into the characteristics, right? Correct. See, now this is our requirement, right? Rooftop, I want to make it available only for Indian customers. And other than India, I don't want to make it available for anyone. So in that case, which object dependency that satisfy your requirement? You should know that. the purpose of that object dependency you should know that so use of that object dependency so the use of the precondition is what to hide the characteristics when the condition not satisfied and make it available when it is satisfied that is the use of the selection i mean precondition so now no now i know that if the country is equal, i'm writing that condition for the pre in pre in precondition country is equal to india so then i'm assigning that precondition to so which character you want to hide or exclude from the configuration then i want to hide this one the rooftop for the rooftop we are assigning that condition to rooftop so then when you assign that precondition when you execute that uh, model 
in a CU50, the condition will be executed. Three condition will be executed first. If you have a two conditions, precondition and selection condition, both are available at characteristics level. First precondition will be executed. If the precondition satisfies, then only selection condition will be executed. If the precondition not satisfies, the selection condition will not be executed. There is no point of having the selection condition, executing selection condition. Okay. So, so we can say it is it is working in a hierarchical hierarchical manner. Like first precondition will yeah, be executed. Okay. See, the dependency, right? Precondition will execute first. After that, selection condition. Got okay. It. Yeah. And and then then there will be the third will be the procedure, right? I mean, procedure. Okay. So it will be uh, again. It will be once the precondition executed, then selection condition, and then it will be go go for the procedure. Procedure. So uh, this is about precondition. Okay. Precondition. Mm -hmm. So precondition, we can assign it characteristics level. And also, we can assign precondition at what level? And one more thing, uh, value level. Okay, before going to value level, so I'll show one more thing. CT04. So this is a rooftop, okay. We want another characteristic seats. Seats here, okay. So now okay. I'm going to that additional data tab of that seats characteristics. I'm selecting this no display option okay i'm selecting this no display option okay 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 so i'm saving this one So, so, so this is something first time on this characteristic we are going to this additional data tab, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to see you 50. See you 50. and go to the configuration if you see okay i'll select country yes if you see this is a hidden icon okay this is a hidden icon uh, which contains what all the hidden characteristics under this hidden icon we have all hidden characteristics if you hit if you click on this hidden icon characteristic icon so we have before it was one character right now it is one more character seats right right so if you see this one right it is not grayed out so we can able to select the configuration and but when you see here it is a grayed out we cannot select any values to this characteristics right now i am trying to which one selecting the configuration for the characteristics see i have a selected all the configuration the still the configuration is not completed yeah 
so let's see what is it is asking double click on again this one double click on usually should come put here let's see usually it should come but still we we'll go inside and double click on this one and select this value for the seats see and now it's become green now it is become complete so wait go so your assumption should not be like that which one whatever the characteristics under hidden icon hidden characteristics icon it doesn't mean that all are excluded from the configuration see the behavior for the rooftop and the behavior for the seats are different because the selection that we made it the character see seats characteristics level and additional data type no display option at is just it will just hide the characteristics it will not show the characteristic to the user it will just hide but still that value for that configuration is required the value for that characteristic still it is required in the configuration you understood Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, so. And, and generally, the, this situation, generally, this situation in most of the industries is, uh, I mean, real-time situation, right? If they don't want to show every characteristic to the users, mm -hmm. uh, they can make uh, this this kind of setup, correct? Yeah. See, in this case, right? You know that you don't want to show it to user, but that configuration. Value should be available for the manufacturing, right? The configuration, right. the because the seats configuration should be available for the manufacturing of the product. So you have to select a value through code. You have to select a value because here you have selecting manually. User will not select go hidden. No, whatever it is available in that interface as a visible characteristics. For that he will go and select it. But other hidden characteristics, right? He doesn't know that where there is some hidden characteristics are there in the configuration. So for that, we have to assign a value to the characteristics. We have to assign a value to the characteristics, and so you no need to select anything. You know that what value needs to be assigned when this kind of scenario is there, when this kind of uh, uh, is there. So the assign that value. And so that it will not be user will not confu get confused because it will be available under hidden. So that he whatever the values you are hiding, that values that characteristics needs to be set with some value needs to be set with some value so that the configuration will not be incomplete. And if you see here, if you see here, we have a two ribbons are there, red ribbons are there. One is characteristics to be hidden another one is characteristics exclude due to configuration characteristics exclude due to configuration in this case in this case right if it is a characteristics to be hidden which means which is hidden by the option no display which is hidden by the option no display if you see the characteristics exclude due to configuration which means which is hidden by the precondition which is hidden by the precondition if you like our videos then subscribe to our channel and be a part of the journey with Gologica and stay connected with the latest videos